What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Pain Plays Games video. All right guys, we are now currently playing DC Worlds Collide. Now this is the first DC game that has impressed me off the bat, especially on beta version. Now if you don't know this game, it was around during beta for a while. It is currently in beta now, so you guys can jump in and try it out. Uh, I believe it's going to close beta in March. And they've actually stopped all transactions, so this is a pure free-to-play experience for you to try out this game. Now, this game is based off of the very popular multiverse DC game, or, or arc, I should say, uh, where the evil versions of the heroes come into play and take over the world, and it's your job to use villains from your normal universe and the heroes from the normal universe to fend them off and win back your planet, essentially, and your, your universe, right? So the game plays really, really well. I've been playing this game on my vacation, actually, and I do have an account, but I'm going to start over here to show you guys kind of the, the cutscenes, some of the characters that they introduce, and how it works out, uh, and I'm super, super excited to actually have this game hopefully drop global very soon so we can all experience it together. But it starts off in Metropolis uh, with a statue of Superman. You guys are going to see this very shortly in the cutscene. And all hell breaks loose uh, with um, with a, what looks like the Joker. I could be wrong. Kind of looks like the Joker, but also it doesn't kind of look like the Joker. Uh, who gets this, uh, this what looks like a sphere and opens up this parallel universe. The pa Pandora's box. Here it is. See, like he's dressed like the Joker. It kind of looks like the Joker, but Joker's not in this game. But I don't think it is. Because like, look, look, look at his face. Like he's not normal, right? So you guys can see, opens up the door to damnation. And you can see here the very evil versions of the very popular Earth-3 um, invaders, the crime syndicate, come through. And the cutscene actually does a really good job introducing people. So there's Deathstorm, right? Superwoman. I see, like, Wonder Woman's... This is Flash's difference. Johnny Quick. There's Owlman, which is the, you know, the Batman equivalent of the villains. Again, really, really well put together cutscene. Source of ring, uh, power ring, which is Green Lantern's obviously alter, uh, alternate ego. <clears throat> then you have Ultraman here, which is essentially Superman's equivalent, right? And again, they've done a fantastic job laying the groundwork for the storyline here, making you feel like you are the underdogs in the hero universe. Now, we're going to try the game out. There's Superman, obviously. There's the Justice League and all the, uh, the counterparts. Um, there's Batman, of course. So the game gives you, which is really interesting, the game actually always, every DC game gives you a free Batman to start with. So you end up getting an epic character uh, in Batman, and then from there, the gotcha system works like every other gotcha system. There's a couple banners, there's different currencies. Um, so far, the game, because it is very free to play, and it forces you to be free to play because you can't have any transactions in this game, they've shut them all off, um, it, it kind of gives you the groundwork of how good uh, this game actually is. And quite honestly, it does play very, very well for a beta game. So I'm... This has probably been the best DC experience I've had in a very long time, which is saying a lot because I've played a lot of DC games, um, and it's, it feels like the most complete beta. Now, this game, again, has been out for a couple years. Uh, I believe the company that was running it has sold the rights to Warner Brothers, but you guys can check it out here right now, right? So there's Catwoman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Batman, and Black Canary. And you guys are going to check out how it works. Now, the graphics I really enjoy. The characters aren't chibi, but they're not full-blown like usual characters. They look like the comic book equivalents, which is kind of nice. Uh, graphics look a lot better than this. This is on, honestly, I think they just set it on low for now, but here we go. Quick, hurry up and kill them. Here, real fast. Uh, don't rush power ring. We need to take our time to enjoy the hunt. Who are these people? Why do you look exactly the same as us? It's completely pointless, even if you know the answer. From now on, the world belongs to the crime syndicate. Now, it's kind of interesting. So, in this fight here, you'll see how this works. They all have their own animations for their specials. Again, I'll fix the graphics up afterwards, guys, okay? So you guys can see the actual graphics, which look much better than this, by the way. For some reason, this doesn't look quite as good as it should. Uh, I think I have to go back in afterwards and do the alterations. But you guys can see here, team building is important. Everyone has different elements, right? Are you serious? That's all you've got. So Black Canary is a healer, for example. She also does silence. Like, here you go. You guys can see right now. Here's her heal. There's different uh, characters. So there's uh, common, rare, epic. Sorry, common, rare, elite, epic, and legendary. So you're going to see a few of those. So like Wonder Woman, for example, is a legendary character. Okay, so let's go into this and then do Wonder Woman special. Again, animations look really, really crisp and good. Unfortunately, there because of 
LD player and acting up, it's not looking quite as good as it should. And then you can see Batman's here. Now animations can be turned off, uh, or you can see them once a day, and then after you've done that, they, you can turn them off after that. Um, so you don't have to watch them every single time. Okay, so let's go through this. You guys will see here now, of course they beat those guys, but then they gotta deal with the big boy, the bad boy. The Superman equivalent. <clears throat> Which is crazy, right? You think about it, if Superman ever decided to become a murderer or a killer, like, he would be pretty damn unstoppable. Now, what's cool about this character, Ultraman, is that they introduce Kryptonite here, um, but it doesn't weaken him. Instead, it powers him up. Complete opposite. So what the hell do you do, right? So there you guys go. That's the intro to the game. Now, you're going to see uh, a couple different things happen here. They're going to do a um, just a couple more story bits. Okay, right here, you get to fight Ultraman a little bit. So this time you got <clears throat> a different Flash with you. Okay, so there's Flash's moves, just so you guys can see. Flash is actually a really, really incredible character in this. Yeah, there's Kid Flash. You guys can see here, he's a healer. He's a support character. And he provides a little shelter. And then here's regular Flash doing his moves. Again, really, really cool animations. I love them. Like, look at that. They're pretty damn elaborate. And again, this has probably been the best DC game I've played on mobile, period, so far. And it's on beta, so I'm very, very excited for this to come out globally. So we can all sink our teeth in, into it and actually enjoy a good PC, or sorry, DC game. Uh, finally, from that's been around for quite some time anyway. So, there you go. Everyone dies. Now, what I understand is, where the hell is Superman? This is what I'm a little confused about. Like, he's not even around. He doesn't help. That, that part was a little confusing in the story. But there you guys go. Everyone escapes. We go into Cyborg's um, laboratory. Or his lab. I guess lab. Same thing. So I'll skip this cutscene so you guys can see what it's all about. Uh, so again, you start off with Batman as your main character. Which is really nice, of course. Everybody gets a Batman character in every DC game. That's <laughs> what they always do. They give you Catwoman as well, which is a little DPS. So you can see here a couple different things. Okay, so first off, the different uh, the um, the pictures are different, right? So Batman is yellow, giving him the epic status. She is blue, so giving her the rare status. She is also a green uh, DPS. He's a red DPS. So elements will play a factor. You can see up here as well too. There's your power. There's the enemy's power, and then you can do other things as well too later on, which will show you things like how to prioritize your ultimates, who you want to go first, second, third, fourth. Um, also, you can equip different um, vehicles, which will help you do, do different moves in the battle as well, too. This, is, of course, is your action bar. How quick you go. This is your ultimate bar. So this is gonna you're going to generate these, and after you generate them, you can perform certain specials. Like you can see here, Batman requires three. I have plus three right here. You guys don't see it, so let me move this camera up. There's the plus three. She requires plus two. So again, when you prioritize your ultimates before the battle, and they'll maintain, you guys can, you guys will do uh, ultimates based on the amount of, so you guys can see again here, but it shows you guys three, three ultimates right there. Uh, you guys now can perform Batmans. And when you set this to auto, it'll automatically do it for you. And again, these animations can be turned off once you've completed them one time in the battle, uh, once a day, you just go into settings and you can ch change that. Uh, Batman is incredible, by the way, in this game. As a, as a free unit, he does insane amount of damage. He'll one-shot pretty much every boss for you for quite some time. Uh, so don't don't slouch on him. I know a lot of characters will get... Uh, a lot of people will get other characters that they like, but definitely, definitely don't sit, don't, don't, uh, sit idle on him. Okay, so they're going to the Batcave. As you can see here, they're going in to get the Mother Box. They actually encounter Power Ring, I believe, if I recall. There it is. Yeah, Power Ring and some henchmen's. So here you guys can see here the, the difference, right? Red is good against green, green is good against blue, blue is good against uh, red. So intell intellect, strength, and agility. That's the only uh, elements I've seen so far in the game. I don't think there's a light or like a dark, right? You can see here you put them there, they will attack Catwoman. So they attack based on their order that they're facing. So these guys are blue, they're weak against green, so you want Catwoman there. He's strong against green, so you want red there for Batman, and that will help him win that battle a lot easier so you can see here she also does a bleed batman just regular og attack 
Okay, so you can see the white color there shows that it's just a regular normal attack. There's no strength there to it. That up right there, those arrows show that it's a stronger against that attack. So you'll see the arrows pointing up for her as well too when she does hers. See that little arrow there? That's what that that's what that's all about. Okay. There we go. This is a summon token, the purple ones. You can also use gems that you get right here, which you get a lot of, by the way. I don't know if it's because it's beta, but we get a lot of them early on. Uh, so here's the mother box. Mother box will allow you to summon. We're going to skip this story. We're going to jump in here. And you guys will see here. Now, there's a lot of game modes to play as well. Um, there are, I think, six or seven game modes right from the get-go that, that you can play. There you go. You get Batgirl. So she's a rare character. And it doesn't matter if you pull uh, multis versus singles. A lot of people will ask that question. In this case, it's all the same. She's a scripted summon, by the way, so you will be able to use her right away. Uh, she's a good AoE farming unit, essentially. Uh, but you'll get rid of her super quick. Like, even Catwoman, you're going to get rid of her. Now, the cool thing is, every dupe that you get for a character, also, you can use their shards to level up your other higher class characters, right? So the class system works a little differently. Eventually, you'll need dupes of your, your actual character, but for the first... Like couple stars all you need is just any elite or any rare and it'll be enough for you to rank them up further to level them up further the only downfall i've seen to this game so far in my opinion is the um, how hard it is to get exp resources it takes quite some it takes quite a bit of idle time but it's not the end of the world like it's just take, take some patience and, and this game doesn't require you to like sit here and play all day long which is kind of refreshing as well uh because we've got a lot of mobile games that already do that right so you guys can see here as a Batgirl's battery right now, not everybody has um, an animation. I, if I recall, it's only Epic, no, Elites, maybe Elites have them as well. Uh, but it's either Epics and Up or Elites and Up have, have animations. So you don't have to worry about watching non-stop animations every single time. Okay, so you guys can see here a couple different bosses. So we're going to start two. Let me go back here. Can I actually switch the settings now? Let's go back here, settings, Let's see if graphically I can I can change this because it definitely, oh yeah, there you go, highest. You guys can see now how it looks, it looks way better. Animation, see, skip animation, turn it on once a day, uh, resource collection, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we can do, um, turn it on to play once a day here, we'll do the once a day thing, okay? There you guys go. So now the graphics are going to look much, much more, much more crisp. There's, there's also gear, I'll show you guys how that works. Here you guys can fill out a daily survey to let them know, you can see the update here, they gave you 500 gems. Uh, to spend on characters. It takes 2,000, if I recall, to do a Mother Box summon. So right here. And you can choose who you want. Now, Superman is a tank. Wonder Woman is a DPS. And Flash is a DPS. I actually like Flash out of all of them, personally. He's the best one. But eventually, you're going to unlock a event with Green Lantern. Uh, so I'll show you guys that later. But here, we can continue going to the main stage. Or what I can actually do is let me log into my actual account. So I'll be right back so you guys can see what it looks like. All right? Give me a second. All right, guys, so I take that back. For some odd reason, I never noticed this. This game only allows you to currently connect to the device that you're on rather than an account. So I never really thought of that as a problem. But here we are back to this account again, okay? So a couple things I want to show you guys. There's a base shop, so more will unlock as you unlock more game modes, okay? So don't worry about that. You'll see a lot more of these pop up. Uh, you will eventually unlock dailies in this little section here. Archive here will give you guys your characters that you can see. There's a couple galleries, different things you can do. The multiverse here allows you to have different game modes, like I mentioned. There's about six game modes, right? There's a two, four, six, yeah, six game modes um, that you're going you're gonna to be able to play along with the storyline. Uh, with characters, these are the characters you get. Uh, just to go into them here real quick, you can see leveling up, you also can get gear, so I'll just auto-equip. There's going to be gear that has certain sets. So, for example, this is the attack set. You can see the icon. Allows you to do bonus attack or bonus attack if you have the four set. Ranking up, again, will require you to have certain um, fragments. Again, fragments are super easy to get in the beginning. Eventually, you will need to get more of, of them, and you can rank up, I believe, up to rank 10 stars so it does take some time skills of course will will go up with your rank and your level so keep that in mind remember everybody has a different skill so read the skill sets you'll see what they do and then resonance so resonance is essentially having characters who um coexist with you and if you do have them they'll give you guys bonus attacks there and then also some characters have something called tactical resonance which allows you to do get more more stats and more boost for certain things in the game so for example batman will give all allies who uh, all deployed allies attack HP and defense plus six, but also during battle, any attack allies who have single target burst as their characteristic will also be able to do six percent more damage. So, for example, he is a character who is a single target burst. Okay, so 
You guys can see all of this once you level up further and then unlock more things, okay? So that's essentially the way that works out. Uh, so if we go further here, as you explore the game more, they're going to give you guys more tanks. So there's different classes, right? There's attack class. These are all attack class. You can see the sword icon there. Uh, and then eventually you're going to be able to unlock tanks, supports. Uh, there's hybrid classes as well too that do certain things. And then as you play the game, you're going to have more than enough tokens to do m multiple summons. Now, in the summon section, there are pities. I believe the pity is uh, 60 if I recall. I'm going to go double check for you guys real quick. Uh, and then we can see what that's all about. So I'm going to fast forward this. Just give me a sec here. Let's go back to the pity. Actually, they're going to make me equip, I think, equip stuff. Let me do that quickly. So there we go. Good. Blah, blah, blah. Let's give Catwoman something as well. And see resonance right here? Like, look, Batgirl, Batman, instantly give her these extra stats. You can see her power going up there as well, too, okay? So very important to note that. Same with Batgirl. She gets something from Catwoman. Auto woke up, give her that. So if I go back now to Mother Box, if I recall, okay, so it's 30 for Epic Guarantee here. This one, I believe, was 60. Oh, no, this one gives you an instant, instant epic character when you summon. Okay, so that's fine. So the first one, you get instant epic character, but after that, I believe it's 60, okay? So here's the idle place. You can collect your loot uh, based on the hours. Here's free, free one free gain for 120. Save that, obviously, for later. And uh, again, that pretty much... Here's your inventory box, by the way. So things you have in your inventory. This is used... Titanium is used to essentially rank up your characters to go further in levels. So here, we're going to keep going here. Now, when you beat, when you finish Argus of uh, Facilities, you're also going to get yourself King Shark. He is a tank character, you guys can see right there. He also has self-heal. Again, very replaceable character. Now, the gems that you get through this game, you're going to get fairly often as you finish every third or, I think it's every three or four levels. Uh, and then there's auto right there set up for you. You can see graphics look much better when you actually tune it up. Um, so, yeah, again, the game plays very crisp. I haven't seen many bugs yet, which is kind of nice. And at the same time... Um, it's a unique team team building game as in it gives you different options so i like the fact that you can prioritize your ultimates like who you want to go first second and third fourth to fifth because it's a five-man team also the fact that vehicles play a big part in this too and they're they're free to play of currently again because the game is free to play uh and obviously there the other game modes that are available are kind of interactive there's things you interact with characters villains etc there's boss fights that you can do uh so there's quite a bit of the game that allows you to experience the full universe and world collision that's happening between the two different um, universes that are currently colliding, right? So again, incredible game. It, it, they are resetting everything in March, so if you guys are willing to play it, give it a chance. I think you'll enjoy it, if, especially if you're a DC fan, or in general, if you do enjoy team-building gotcha games, uh, and one that currently forces you to be free to play. So I would highly recommend trying this out. Um, I, I'm going to continue covering this game. I'll just start a brand new account with this one uh, because I know what I'm doing now. It makes it a little easier uh, and we're going to continue just rocking with this and I'll keep making more videos for this game until beta ends and hopefully by the time beta does end, they actually do give this game a chance to live uh, and we can actually experience the full effects of this game um, as soon as it comes out globally and I'll probably be putting this as a mainstay on the channel because again, during my entire vacation, this has been one of the funnest games I've been playing and having a blast while my kids were asleep, and I highly recommend you guys give it a chance. All right, guys, so again, this is DC World Collides. Remember, it is currently available on beta. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's iOS or, or um, Google. I am playing it on my Google Play, so I don't know if iOS has an opportunity to try this. I hope, really hope you guys do have a chance. But um, yeah, definitely give this a go if you're a DC fan. Even if you're not, I think it's worth even trying. You might enjoy what it has to offer. Uh, and right now, again, it's completely free to play. You can't purchase anything, so if you have a, you know, an addiction to gambling with gotchas, this will actually force you not to do that. And that might actually translate to something better for you for future gotchas, because free-to-play experience has been amazing in this game. All right, guys, this is Payne. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.